let me just say that, you know, I, I definitely am excited about the opportunity to work with the Obama Foundation uh, so that he can have uh, uh, an ongoing relationship with the state of Hawaii. I think it's very important for our people, but Dr. Lasner probably right. was we, going we to. We've also been in touch with the Obama Foundation. They obviously have their, um, you know, their first job is to figure out how to get the edifice built in Chicago. Um, but it's very clear that they're interested in a presence here in Hawaii and also ongoing relationships with the University of Hawaii. So we will be working with them over the next months to figure out exactly what that means. Um, the President and First Lady have a lot of interests across a spectrum of activities and we're really excited about um, building that relationship for many years into the future. And of course the details are not just going to be involved with uh, what will be, you know, what branch out here, but as far as location as well, I imagine still. Right. You know, all of that still. Everything is up in the air. Right? Yeah. yeah that's you right. know, I mean, I think they recognize as part of the, the proposal that, uh, you know, our location in the Pacific, his uh, early years spent here really did shape his thinking in a lot of different ways. Uh, and the fact that we are uh, a visitor destination with, with direct flights uh, all, all through the Pacific Asia region, you know, his, his policy pivot to Asia, I think, and, and his presidency being uh, really indelibly placing the pivot to Asia um, as part of his legacy, I think are all natural ties. And it's really a matter of us working through and talking through what specific interests he would have in, in, in ongoing activity in Hawaii, as well as what really goes into the, the physical facility in Chicago. He has expressed interest to work with all the universities that had submitted proposal. So, Governor, I know now the two of you are looking forward to whatever project in relation to the library may end up here. Uh, but what was your reaction when you first heard officially that uh, Hawaii was not the locale that was chosen? Were you disappointed? Well, let me just say this. I think that the, the, the team uh, put together a very strong proposal. Uh, I think that it, there could not ever be a better site uh, than in Kaka'ako. I mean, I think um, the, the entire package uh, was very impressive. Uh, but, you know, I think realistically, we, we did know that he uh, spent a lot of time in his uh, initial prominence as a, a U.S. Senator really uh, occurred in Chicago. So. I think, yeah, I'm an engineer. I'm a pretty pragmatic guy. <laughs> I was hoping for the best, but, um, but, you know, was realistic in my expectations. I don't think any of us were shocked, and I think we're all really proud. Um, the team did put together a spectacular proposal. Um, you know, at the university, we write proposals all the time, and they can't all be funded. Uh, and in this case, while, um, you know, we're not building that magnificent facility at Kaka'ako that we had proposed. Um, I think there will be decades of benefit to the state as a result of putting in the proposal, getting on the radar, and clearly attracting the attention of the president that he wants to be doing something here related to his legacy and with the University of Hawaii very explicitly. So. President, uh, I know that, you know, a lot of it will be based on what President Obama, you know, wants to do, especially once he figures out everything that will be at Chicago. Um, what would you like to see here in Hawaii uh, in terms of, you know, again, the president uh, for sure hasn't... You know, in the proposal, we pitched a whole range of programs that I know interested them. Um, I would love to see him, um, you know, I, I'm a university president, but he and the First Lady have really um, talked a lot in, and talked about programs to increase college attainment. And this country used to be the most educated country in the world. And we have lost that distinction um, as college going rates have decreased and the cost of college has gone higher, as governments have um, um, unfortunately been able to invest less. Both he and the First Lady have tried to turn that around. So I'd like to work with them about some of the great programs we have here and, and model some ways in which the state of Hawaii um, can can uh, advance college attainment, but you know, food security, um, um, uh, environment, uh, the pivot to Asia. You know, we're a fabulous place, and you know, as a great university, we've got expertise that can assist with all of those sorts of things. Um, you know, we proposed ideas in uh, youth education, community education, community leadership. So I think. Um, 
we've put it out there, and I think it's a, it's a really good time for us to now be able to step back and listen. We also will probably be partnering with the University of Chicago on some of these programs, and they'll be the lead institution um, at the physical center in Chicago. Do you think you'll get a chance to steer them in that direction, uh, all those proposals that you just uh, kind of went over? I think we'll have that chance to, to pitch them, absolutely. You know, and I, I always believe, you know, NTP Lahipaki really talked about the gift of aloha from the host culture, you know, and the fact that we celebrate diversity in Hawaii better than any place else on the planet. And so that whole notion that of, of being respectful, of being able to celebrate that diversity while recognizing that we can achieve more when we work together rather than when we are fighting with each other. I think that that's part of his legacy because that's really ingrained in him, that Aloha Spirit is truly a part of, of President Obama. And you know, when I went to the state dinner with um, Prime Minister Abe, I can tell you that entire evening was infused with elements from Hawaii, uh, from the China and Kailua Blue uh, to the, the courses served. And again, in each, uh, in each presentation, President Obama did talk about growing up in Hawaii and how it shaped his view uh, of the importance of the U United States-Japan relationship. Obviously, still early uh, official announcement just made today, but have you guys with the Obama Foundation been privileged to uh, any sort of timeline of when we could expect uh, some aspect of this project to wind up here in Hawaii? No. Um, I mean, the, the entire initiative doesn't um, really kick off until he leaves the presidency. Sure. So we're, we're certainly off, you know, till after the next election. Uh, but we expect to be in conversations before then.